so yeah okay so let's go uh, right now I would like to add materials okay let's start my timer okay so basically we just need to um, create other materials but uh, like I said before we have only one uh, array yeah so uh, this is right here we have uh, arrays and we have different vertices, triangles, normals and UVs, but this is only for one type of voxel. So how we can just create this uh, for more types? Of course, we need to create from this structure. So I get the, these values, just uh, cut them, Control X, and just create new uh, new structure, which will be just uh, use struct. Okay. So I will just use normal structure because I don't want to get access to access to this uh, structure inside blueprint so you don't uh, don't have to be a uh, use struct so just f mesh uh, section and inside i can just take my values so right now to get access to this uh, is just from this structure yeah so basically when i uh, create my voxel update mesh i will just create uh, structures f mesh section uh, and it will be just f mesh sections Mm, but of course we need type and array so it will be just array of this f mesh sections and i can just initialize and like i said before it will be just number of uh, my uh, materials so i get my materials and number and of course function uh -huh. so i just get these back yeah and i also will need uh, another element number because uh, I cannot use this uh, element ID uh, longer because it's inside the struct so but I need something global so I will just a uh, number of elements it will be just global number that's why I created uh, another number when did I start programming uh, when I was six years old or seven so about 21 years ago i was even uh, study uh, informatics uh, four years ago i graduated graduated uh, yeah and yeah so since i remember it's more than 20 years already i'm 28 by the way okay so i'm better programmer than pro gamer probably but no one knows <laughs> okay so we have this value and mesh section and set number material set number okay mm, so from this point we just get screwed uh, yeah it gives me a lot studies <laughs> okay and we need to set these values because i have my structure but I, we don't have this we don't have access to these arrays and, uh, anymore so I will just use this right here yeah so uh, I can assign but uh, really important is this uh, reference to this object yeah instead of creating new one because if I uh, forget about this I will just copy probably every value from this array but I don't want to I want to access to this uh, element yeah to this object so I could uh, use reference yeah and do the same for every object so now, right now I can use my vertices so this is completely fine okay and we can just uh, try this but uh, I have debugging mode still ah I cannot save this mm, too bad But it's fine, okay. Uh, okay, save selected. Never mind, okay. Okay. I cannot save, it's just weird sometimes. Okay. Should be fine, and yeah.
maybe just make a switch. Okay, so we have this uh, assigned arise, and I can use this. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Hello and welcome. So, uh, we have uh, where I finish, uh, I just need to uh, update my element number, and second one is just uh, instead of element ID, or it can be element ID, so it's not a problem. So I just need to uh, update my element number. Should be fine uh, if I just increase this by uh, the same triangle number. And right now I can just uh, add maybe some conditions. So if uh, or maybe just uh, do the same in my loop. So I have to create loop. So it will be just uh, uh, for every uh, mesh section, uh, of course, number and yeah, and I will do the same. What, 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 what? Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, uh, instead of this uh, zero and vertices, I just need, uh, need to use my uh, array, right? So, it will be right here, and yeah. And I can add one condition. So if my... Mm, because I'm using mesh sections, right? So mesh sections is the same right here? Okay. So mesh sections or, uh, from I. Uh, and we can get, uh, let's say, uh, vertices. And if number is uh, higher than... Then zero, right? Yeah. Then I can just generate this, and of course we need some uh, values. So for this one will be just uh, index. So it will be my first, second, and then and go on. Yeah. So uh, instead of vertices, I just uh, use my uh, mesh section uh, from ID. Yeah. So mesh sections and get my uh, index, and yeah. So I just need to copy this for every single one. So triangles, uh, normals, UVs, vertex and tangents. Just to get access to my uh, my array of these structures. And I think this is everything from here. Yeah, and should be fine. Let's uh, check this out. So I can just build this and play. Okay, it's not working. What's mm, a lot of errors like that? Ah, element ID, and it has to be. Yeah, and that's why I should use. So I can just assign element ID, which will be just integer 32. But I cannot get reference to this uh, object because it is just integer. So I will just get my value uh, from here. And it will be just uh, element ID, but uh, I need to uh, update this value uh, just using the same method. So, uh, yeah, mesh section, and it's below, and it will be right here. Yeah. Okay, so I just increase number of triangle number uh, elements. Okay, so this is like that. Everything should work. Didn't you know you were a programmer and a pro gamer? Uh, <laughs> eh, what's going on? Uh, what? Aha! Because I need to. 
All right, thank you. Uh, I need to yeah set my values uh, for this. So basically, I need constructor. Uh, yeah. So I'm setting my uh, mesh section number and yeah, probably for my structure I need a constructor. So yeah, basically I need to go to my book. Okay, now it's good. Okay, and I'm he uh, hearing music. Okay. Okay, so everything is working. You got one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, y element. Mesh index. Mesh sections, right? Uh, mesh section set number of materials number, but we have only one material. So maybe I can just set this to. Yeah. Mm. So maybe just set to some default value. I don't know. Maybe five. For now. Should, should be fine. Uh, yeah, and the same mesh section number uh, is fine. Okay, let's try. Hmm. Why I cannot use materials number? Hmm. This is weird. I should get this value right now. Is it working? Yeah, now it's working. Hmm. This is kind of weird and awkward. Uh, but we don't have materials right now, so something is... Ah, because maybe... Maybe just my voxel actor lost materials? Yeah, it lost materials, that's why. I don't know why. Maybe it just didn't save, that's why it crashes. So we need just materials and yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so first one was just uh, grass M. Second one will be just dirt. But I need to create one. And this material will get six faces uh, from dirt. Made from dirt. So it will be just simple. And like before, just roughness and specular. Roughness maybe one. I can just uh, modify these values later on. Okay, and one more we just need. We just need the uh, um, stone one, right? So maybe create material, stone, and, and the same for dirt. dirt and. Okay, and yeah. Okay, and I can link this. Okay, and it should be fine. We can just go voxel uh, blueprint and assign my materials. It will be first, uh, third one, third will be second one, and go on. So when I compile, save, and go back to my uh, code, I should be able to use this material number. And yeah, let's try this out. Let's compile. Right now, when I have a lot of materials, it should be fine. Okay, and music is working too, so it should be should be okay. Okay, so we'll we will get uh, more materials, but not uh, voxels, uh, because we are spawning only one type of voxel. So it will be exactly the same like before. Yeah. So I want to spawn uh, uh, other voxels. But we will be seeing this later on. So uh, right now I can just go to another step. 
and this is a BSP making uh, weapons. So yeah, maybe maybe it's it's okay. So I will just show you how uh, how I spawn uh, spawn this. Uh, yeah, maybe just add code. So if chunk index is just uh, lower than thirty, and second one would be something like if it's equal uh, to thirty. Yeah, so it will be second value. So when I compile, I should get another layer of dirt, yeah? So basically it will be like that. Okay, so let's play. But right, right now there will be... Or maybe not. So it's... Hmm? This is weird. Should be fine. What the? And second material is dirt material. Should be. Should be fine, right? Hmm. What the hell? Hmm. This is interesting. Maybe it's just. Because of no, but I'm using the same material. I don't know. Ah, because yeah, I know, I know. All right. Thank you. Because no, I'm using materials. The same. What the fuck? I'm doing everything, I don't know. Let's try this out. Okay, I'm going to play. Hello! Oh, right. Thank you. Hello! Okay. And there is. Uh, Alright! So I don't know why it wasn't working. Yeah. So right now it should be fine. Uh, yeah. And as you can see, we have this dirt material. Okay. And uh, why there are gaps? Because this is only one. Uh, one <laughs> high. Uh, yeah. Layer. Yeah. So we have only one voxel per uh, per field. Yeah. So when I go from top, yeah, there is no gap. Yeah, because every point has one box of noise. But not in Z, because there is yeah, sometimes noise is like that. Okay. So everything is fine. So I can just go back to my first generation. And we can go to BSP, because I would like to create uh, some objects right now. So maybe I can comment this right now. And let's... Uh, Let's just compile and uh, we can create new steam and I will be making items uh, so uh, yeah this is BSP then it's prototyping character so okay let's go with schedule okay so I can because uh -huh, I did not start timer unfortunately but it took me about 10 minutes but it's not a problem walk on by okay so i can go to next step right now